Hello friends and welcome to Excavator Missions. This year we are very hands-on when it comes to VBS missions. That's right. It's been fun to watch Ben and Alessia with their parents in Italy. It seems like the kids are just as involved in missions as their parents. I wonder if they like living in another country. I mean, they have to speak a different language and things are probably just different in Italy. Well, let's watch the video and see what they have to say. Hi guys, every morning at 7 a.m. our family does a family devotion before we head off to school. Our school is real close and we can walk there in like five minutes. School here is a lot like school in the U.S. Except here we learn more languages because Italy is home to so many people from different countries. I'm learning three languages, French, Latin, and Italian. In Italian, Jesus loves you is Gesù ti ama. Can you say that? Gesù ti ama. Cosa facciamo domattina? Si fa il lavoro di quello di tua. Oh, bravo! School's another great place to tell people that Jesus loves them. Throughout the year, we host outreach parties at our house, where we invite a whole bunch of our friends from school to celebrate things like holidays and special events. And there we can tell them about Jesus. In this area of Italy is where the story of Pinocchio was written. You know the story of the little wooden boy whose nose would grow every time he told a lie? You couldn't always trust what Pinocchio said, but we can always trust what God says. In Matthew, Jesus says, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And remember, I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Not only is that an awesome promise, but it's also a command for us. Go tell others about Jesus, and that's what we do. And one way we do that is by hosting a really big VBS camp during the summer. It's a lot like VBS in the States with games, activities, and a lot of stories about Jesus and how he loves us. VBS is so much fun, so remember God's promise. He will always be with you and go tell others. Let's see who was paying attention. What are the three languages that Alessia said she's learning in school? Hmm, I remember Italian, of course, and French and Latin. And she taught us to say, Jesus loves you in Italian. Should we practice? Sure. Jesu te ama. Very good. Knowing how to speak many languages must be very helpful to Alessia and her family. They can speak to many different people. Learning a second or third language is always helpful to anyone who wants to be able to tell others about Jesus. I think it was really neat that the Worthy family was planning a VBS camp for the summer. It sounds like their VBS would be a lot like ours. And Ben and Alessia get to invite their friends from school to come and learn about Jesus. Do you remember what story was written in Arezzo, Italy? I do. It was the story of Pinocchio. He was a cute little guy, but he wasn't very good at telling the truth. No, not at all. Thankfully, we can know that everything we read in the Bible is true. In today's Bible verse, Jesus promised that He will always be with us. That's right. Matthew 28, 20 says, And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. When Jesus makes a promise, He will never break it. That is so reassuring, especially when we're trying to tell others about Jesus. He is actually with us. Let's move on to our hand signals while we have time. Can you remember the hand signals from day one through three? Well, day one was learn. We're taking time this week to learn about missions. Day two was pray. It's important to pray for missionary families like the Worthy family and the people of Italy. Day three was give. 
We're hands-on with missions when we give. Today's hand signal is do. We raise our hand like we're volunteering to do something. Matthew 28, 19 through 20 tells us to do something. What is it? We are supposed to go make disciples. That means we're supposed to go find people who need to hear about Jesus and tell them. It's a command from Jesus. Okay, let's write do on the fourth or pinky finger of our handprint. And then let's move on to our own mission project. In case anyone forgot, we're raising money this year to buy bicycles for pastors in India. Let's watch our video. Do you have a bike? If so, where do you like to ride it? Around your neighborhood or the park? Maybe you take it on trails or to the beach. Bikes are a lot of fun. But in some parts of the world, people use bikes to do very important jobs, like telling people about Jesus. In India, men who want to spread the gospel need bikes to get around. India is a big country. It's full of millions of people who don't know about Jesus. Men just like these have devoted their life to Jesus and to studying God's Word. They travel to villages sharing the gospel and inviting people to church. The only thing is, bikes can be kind of expensive, and many of these men don't have a way to pay for them, so they need our help to buy them. You can give your money to help purchase a bike in India. Each bike costs $128. If we all work together, we can help buy a lot of bikes. The more bikes that we buy, the more we can help spread the love of Jesus across India to families and to kids just like you. Stay tuned to find out how you can make your donation today. One thing that Miss Lori and I really love about teaching missions in VBS every year is seeing how generous you are. Year after year, you have all gotten excited about raising money so that we can share the love of Jesus in unique ways. Even though VBS looks a little different this year, we're counting on you to get excited, get your parents and grandparents involved, and make your own contributions. Remember, you are an important part of God's plan for sharing His love in this world. Let's pray and we'll be done for the day. Dear Jesus, thank you for your blessings. Thank you for allowing us time to focus on you and learn about missions and about how important it is to tell others about you. It's a command that you've given us. Help us to do our very best to be clever and creative and find some ways to get some money together so that we can send many bicycles um, to the pastors in India. And God, just bless each and every one of us. In your name I pray, amen. Amen. Bye, everyone. See ya.